as travelers, we have an incredible privilege that we can even travel, that we can even get on a plane or a bus or a train or, or any method of transportation, go somewhere else and actually experience what that place is about. Being able to give something back to that place is really important because you're getting so much from it. It's hard to imagine that we are 600 miles off the coast of Ecuador. It feels like this is in a completely different world. We are in a very world-renowned place, but we're seeing it, I think, in a very different way. Contiki is supporting a conservation effort called Shark Savers, and we actually were able to get our travelers, you guys, to be a part of it. Having a chance to actually get experience the kind of trip that Kentucky can do and have Celine Cousteau with you is kind of a life-changing experience. It's been great to meet so many um, you know, interesting people from all over the world who come from all different walks of life. We are such a small country in South America, you know, and Galapagos, but we have uh, incredible biodiversity of you know, wildlife. You can't help but be inspired by, by nature and the turtles you see underwater. Even me, you know, I, I get surprised. This is a small place in the world that we protect a lot because we want that the people come to Galapagos and have the opportunity to enjoy this. There's not very many places left in the world that are untouched, so the more that we can do to help prevent people coming in and destroying it is the better. I talk a lot about the Amazon. It's a place that I keep going back to and it's a place I've learned a lot of lessons. And we were talking to different indigenous tribes and one of the questions we asked is, how do you live sustainably in your environment? And he looked at me with complete puzzle on his face going, and that's when it clicked. Because his answer was, well, when I cut a tree, I plant one. And I only kill the animals I need to feed my family and no more. One of the most incredible things about this place is that wildlife and humans interact together so easily. Nobody's taking too much, nobody's making a huge deal about anything, everybody's just getting along. And it's a realization that we are at a point now in our human history where we have created an entire industry around something that didn't even need a word. And now we've come full circle to that understanding that that's what we need to do again. It is about recreating that sense of ownership and that sense of communal responsibility to the people around us and then to our bigger tribe of the human species. We look at issues that are happening in Africa or in China or in South America. Oh, well that's over there. When we can start looking at the fact that somebody throwing a piece of trash in a river ends up in the ocean where we get our fish, then we start putting the pieces together where in fact we are completely connected but with everything that happens. Galapagos with Contiki is we're bringing people to experience what this environment is about. It's not just me that gets to go out there and swim with sharks, it's you. And that makes a huge difference because people get to, to see and it's tangible all of a sudden and it means something and it has depth to it. It's not just watching somebody on a screen doing it, it's doing it yourself. I went into it obviously scared of sharks. I was like texting my loved ones being like goodbye, I'm going into the water. To see the development from 
Some people having fear, uh, or a natural fear, perhaps, of these sharks. And watching that change and watching people get out of the water and just laugh. Even just that, just simply having this moment of just like giddy elation of like, I just, I just swam with not one shark, but a dozen sharks, 20 sharks, and I was okay. And they're beautiful creatures. And it's like that moment when you're looking at them and you think, I'm next to a shark. It was definitely the best way to end such an incredible trip. If parents just realize that the experiences they give their children when they're young creates who they are, then hopefully we'll give them better experiences. And you can't really know which thing they're going to hang on to and is just going to become that tree that grows, you know, and becomes what they are as an adult. When we do something, we have a choice to do something more. If you're traveling somewhere, you can actually contribute more by choosing who you travel with, by choosing hotels that are more environmentally minded, by supporting local operations instead of just foreign. I think that that just heightens our own personal experience. So we're here in the Galapagos and we have access to sea lions, we see marine iguanas, we have naturalists who are teaching us about this place. What is it that we can give back? Yes, we're giving our dollars to this economy, but I think there's something more to give.